Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina coming to you with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download sublimation designs in Canva right from Etsy. If this is your first time joining me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. I shoot DIY projects as well as cruise tip videos every single week so you don't want to miss out, especially since I'm now doing different tutorials to teach people exactly how to do sublimation correctly. So the reason for this video is I get a lot of questions on how do they print out their design so it'll be the perfect size every single time. Sometimes when people print out their design, it come out like way too big and they cannot understand why this happening when they use Canva. So we're gonna fix that problem today. So we're gonna head over to Etsy first and we're going, I'm going to show you how to download your file so that you can upload it right into Canva. Etsy has tons and tons of different sublimation designs. And I've been able to make some great tumblers by using some of the designs right off Etsy, as well as some support small business owners. So once you purchase the design you like, what you want to do is go into purchases and reviews because they're going to send it to you like an email so once you see the file that you purchase you want to hit the download file and the file is in png so you want to download it straight to your computer you can always rename it if you like that way you'll know exactly what file it is on your computer or you can just always go back to your purchases and orders and it will always be there once the design is fully downloaded you're going to see that it's fully downloaded into the left hand corner of your computer so that means it's downloaded to your computer and ready for use so now we're going to head over here to canva in canva i actually pay for the pro but canva do have a free um version for you to use and it's always good to do the free version first so that you can get familiar with canva it's just that i use canva for a lot of different things including work purposes so it was beneficial for me to have the pro edition but again canva do have a free version that you can use so make sure you get familiar with it by using the free version so the first thing you're going to do in canva is in the right hand corner hit create design then you want to hit custom design don't go ahead and type in one of the pre-existing um they have some pre-existing like if you was doing like a facebook ad or, ad or anything like that but you want to create your from scratch when you measure your cup you want to make sure this is always going to be on px first but you want to make sure it's on inches for your tumblers and your mugs so the first thing i do is i measure my cup the width is the roundness of your tumbler or cup. Um, in mine, I measure each um, cup that I get because sometimes they be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. So the width of my cup is 10 inches. So I'm going to put in 10.2 because I like to do an overlap when I take my sublimation design down so that my scene will come out perfect every single time. And my width is 8.5. I always leave it the same that's the length of your cup the width is the length of your cup so now you want to create this new design as you can see a blank square is going to come up and that's the size of your design and you can see it right here where it say untitled you will see 10.2 inches by 8.5 inches so if it print out this design should fit perfectly on your tumbler so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the file that I just got off Etsy by hitting the upload button, hitting the upload media, and I'm going to pull it from a file from my computer. Go to downloads, and it's going to be the very first thing at the list because that is what you just downloaded. So I'm going to click it and open it up. Once I open it up, you're going to see it uploading in your image section. Once the blue is completely uploaded, you can grab and drag your image to the design and it's going to fit perfectly in the square. So once it fit per per perfectly in the square, you want to download it. 
And now this is where people make the mistake. Do not download your design in PNG. Download your design as a PDF, a standard PDF. This is how you get that design, the exact size that you want it. Do not download it in a PNG, download it in a PDF. I had to make the correction on my video that I made on how to create your own designs in Canva. I put it in the description bar, but you want to make sure that you download it in PDF. So go ahead and hit that design, hit that download. This is where people make the mistake. This is where the design comes out too big. This is why it never fits when you print it out and you waste ink as well as paper. And if you're never unsure, if the design is going to come out correctly, always print it on black and white on a regular promo, and that way you'll know. But if you download it as a PDF every single time, you will not have this issue. So now I'm going to open up my design. And as you can see, it's nice and pretty, a nice and pretty design. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit print the promo. I'm going to go ahead and select my Epson ET2720. If you don't know how to convert an Epson printer, make sure you take a look at one of my video on how I converted my Epson into sublimation. The next thing I want to do is I want to go to more settings. Now, my computer is already completely set up um, for sublimations to print out correctly every single time on my Epson. But just in case if yours is not right down here, when you click more, you want to click on the print using the system dialog and this is where you can check to make sure that everything is set up correctly for you to print so the next thing that you want to do is you want to hit preference let me make sure because again it is selected my canon so you want to always make sure it's selected the epson et 2720 series i'm going to hit my preference the first thing i'm going to hit is print preview this is going to let me see my print before i even print it out okay i always keep my paper size on the letter size 8.5 by 11 point um by 11 inches you can use photo or landscape i have actually used both and my prints came out the exact same way so you want to make sure your your uh, paper type is on presentation paper mat and if it's not, just click on the error and it's the next to the last. The next thing you want to make sure is your quality is on high, not standard. You want to make sure it's on high. Again, my settings is already set up because I set them up when I first started my, um, when I first set up my Epson printer. So make sure if you haven't go into printer scales and something else in, in your settings and make sure you go ahead and set it and save it. Um, the next step that you want to do is you want to go to more options and you want to make sure that in customs, click on customs and advance and make sure your color type is on Adobe RG 2.0. And you want to make sure that the mirror check is checked down. You have a check next to a mirror image. That way your image going to always be mirrored when it come out. You don't have to do nothing. And you want to make sure that high speed is not checked. You want to make sure that that's not check you want your print to come out slow because if a lot of people don't know if they got this high speed check and if trying to understand why every time they print a sublimation design they have lines in their designs is because you have the high speed on so once all of those settings is in place you want to hit okay and you are ready to print i used to open mine up and i think it was on um, paint and then print so that it can have the perfect size but once I realized that if you print it out in a PDF, if you download your design in PDF, you no longer have to do that extra step. So go ahead and hit print. And what's going to happen, you're going to see your design right there. And as you can see, it's not taking up the full page or anything like that. It's actually 8.5 by 10.2 well, 10 by 8.5. And now you're ready to print. Your design will come out perfect every single time if you take these simple steps when you are setting up your printer as well as doing your custom design in Canva. 
I hope that this video helped you to figure out why your designs is coming out too big every single time that you print and this will help you save on your ink and your paper when using Canva. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.